Ask Reddit by Fax Time Machine. What piece of equipment does the average person own and takes the most abuse without proper maintenance? Their own bodies. Eat sagumi vitamin in between chips and salsa dips. Kitchen knives, by far. Yep. Do not place in dishwasher. Fuck you. I don't take orders from a knife box. Scissors. Not many people get their scissors sharpened as needed. 1 million percent I can't stand dull scissors. My toilet has seen some things. Shout out to toilets for being so dependable. Lawn mowers. I bought a $120 lawn mower from Home Depot a decade ago. Changed the oil once, and the filter maybe twice. Matherfica is still running like a champ. Vacuum cleaner. My expensive Dyson vacuums come from thrift stores and have both been completely clogged when I got them 20 minutes of cleaning and they were perfect. Cars. There's a whole ass car maintenance manual provided with every car. I assume 1% of the population follows it dirty regarding the maintenance schedule. Everyone knows about Chang'e the oil and tire rotations, but there's also scheduled fluid changeouts, belt changeouts, and all kinds of other shit you're supposed to at mileage intervals, all recommended by the manufacturer as best practice. And most people don't pay attention to that shit at all. The in-cabin air filter in their car. Most people don't know it exists. Some cars like mine don't have one. I was surprised. A Honda Civic. We saw cars at the dealer that made it almost 100,000 kilometers without oil changes and the inside of the engine was like tar. Warranty told them to fuck off even after they cried that no one explained to them that cars need maintenance. Right. Like you have never had countless mail outs and phone calls that your new car is due for maintenance. Actually maintain it and you have yourself a 400,000 km car. I have a 530,000 km Chevy Cavalier. I guess just from doing that maintenance. Do you enjoy hot water every day? That nice warm shower, hot water to clean your clothes, dishes and hands. It's from your water heater. Ever flushed it? Most all that are sold currently have a turbulator, or their company's name for it, in them that negates the largest benefits of a real flush. As cold water is added, it's piped to the bottom to push the sediment up. I flushed one for a customer this week, and only a teaspoon of debris came out. Air conditioning unit for stair heat filters. Are you for real? I have three cats and a chihuahua, and every single year, the AC would quit at least once. Usually, it is on a holiday weekend BC it knows that the AC repair people are charging double and are double booked as well. It wasn't until we figured out cellular blinds that we finally got the AC under control. Their knees. I'd say, their back. Since kitchen knives and controllers have been said. Desktop PCs. Anyone who owns a generic household PC that's used by more than one person, I guarantee you there's a jungle living in there. I blow mine out about once every two years with the garage air compressor lol. Video game controllers. If they'd build them as if they were designed for people with strong hands, I'd care a lot more. But as it is, they're built like cheap plastic crushable pieces of future garbage that mostly just implode under the weight of my extremely precise ham fists. Washing machine. They have filters just like the dryer does surprise. A hammer. Even cheap ones are almost impossible to break, and no matter how rusty they are, they will still easily whack a nail into a wall. It's a piece of metal on a stick though. Teeth. The bedroom tower or box fan that never gets shut off. I'd say that a motor with a flywheel, 
fan blade assembly that stays on all the time is probably one of the least abuse things there is, at least among things with moving parts. They get dusty dirty, but unless grid or liquid ends up getting inside the rotor, it has an insignificant effect on the fan. Motors are unbelievably efficient at their rated speed, and the vast majority of wear and tear on them comes from turning them on. Fan motors specifically can run for decades with no maintenance whatsoever, especially if the power source is fairly reliable. Their brain. Cell phone. I paid $120 for my phone 4 years ago. I'm not servicing it. If it does shit out on me I'll go get another one. I don't understand the need for a $1000 dollar out more phone. A penis. Well, I can't speak for other people but my penis is definitely abused and not well maintained. You wash your dick. JK but FR try to maintain it a little. A car. I've seen a lot of people, me included, who drive around in cars that are in desperate need of engine maintenance, oil changes, tire rotations inflation, and covered in dent stings. Flathead screwdriver. It's probably the most misused piece of equipment of all time. No, it is the most versatile tool, it has the wrong name. The way people store their gardening equipment is horrifying. Most people have no idea that tools need to be maintained and organically need to be stored properly. The anus. I take good care of mine. Shave, massage, and lotion.